Hello kids, today I'm going to show you a little intro about how to use a German bow. So this is my German bow, it is a wooden bow, and as you can see it has a tip on this end and it has a frog on this end. We call this the button, and this is where the bow hair is held in place. We tighten the bow by twisting the button. And this button is made of wood, but it's kind of hard, so it's kind of hard to see. But it basically is just right there. We have a little grip here. It just kind of lives there and really doesn't do much much for the stick if we're holding it like a German bow. You see how the stick kind of tapers out this way and comes back up. That's so that when we hold the bow, when we push it against the string, we have even pressure through the whole bow. This is called camber. All right, so we have our stick in an appropriate tension. Boop, boop. And now we need to learn how to hold the bow. So a German bow is probably the most natural way to hold a bow. First thing we need to do is hold our hand out just like this. And we're going to sit the bow in our hand just like that. And I'll show you that again. Hand is like this. Now we put the bow. As you can see, it looks kind of similar. Now let's get into some details of exactly what's going on when we hold the German bow. From the top, it's going to look like this. And from the bottom, ugh, kind of a stretch, it's going to look like this. Across there, it's going to look like this. All right, so each finger when you have a, a German bow hold has a job. First one is your thumb goes on top of the stick and your pinky goes on the bottom of the stick. They're about in the same place. But as you can see, my pinky sticks out a little further. You should be able to hold the stick with just your thumb and pinky. You see that? Now the frog needs to fit right against the back of your hand. So just across there, you should feel the frog in your hand. This part of the bow is going to kind of live in the corner of your hand. Thumb and pinky. Feel the bottom of the frog down there. Feel the corner of the stick right in there. Fingers should be kind of flexible. You should be able to move it in and out. Now, your other fingers have a job too. Kind of like holding a pencil. Your first finger is going to go opposite your thumb on the side of the stick. And your second finger is going to go right beside it on the side of the stick. These are kind of your control, and it's going to tell whether your bow goes like this. Okay, so thumb and pinky. Two fingers on the side of the stick. Don't forget we need to feel it in the back of your hand and in the crook of your hand. Now your ring finger has a very special job too. It needs to sit right beside your middle finger, just hanging out right there. If you pull it through, chances are you're gonna have a really tense bow hold and it's gonna be really difficult to play. It's really important that it stays relaxed just sitting right on the side. Your third finger is connected to your pinky. So if it's holed in like this, your pinky is probably gonna be pulled in too. We want our pinky out. And we want it strong against the bottom of the stick. So if you're doing a nice job with your pinky, your third finger should hang out just like that. Okay, and when you play it, you should look down and your bow hole should look just like that. When you start a note, your finger, your hand will flex out, and you'll pull a down bow. When you go the other way, your hand will flex in, and you'll push an up bow. It's really important that you have some kind of flexibility in your fingers, which is why we really pay attention to where our fingers go, and if they're in the exact right spots, and if they're flexible. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find it really helpful. Thank you and have a great day.